Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is SEL0320 of Zing JVSO. And no, I did not give you guys last week the review for Supergirl. I apologize for that. Again, this week I will not be giving a review for Supergirl. Um, but last week's episode 9, I believe, was named Supergirl Lives. Um, this week's episode is going to be about Livewire, but last week's was about Supergirl going off planet into a location where it was a red sun, and it was a very interesting dynamic that happened because her and Monel, they've been on this, I don't know, partnership kick, and she obviously really likes him. But the thing about it is that at the same time, when and Jimmy, you know, his guardian and his, his comrade, they've been trying to, you know, do their crime fighting thing. Something happens really interesting to Win that kind of makes him very afraid. And I think that Win actually had a pretty interesting uh, arc in this one. I thought it was really well done out. Um, the other part about this was Alex. Alex and uh, her girlfriend, because she's finally really happy and she's kind of getting settled into her own, but her life is made up around Kara. And of course, Supergirl is feeling stagnant. It's not that she, I don't think, necessarily wants to have somebody, but she wants to do more, you know, especially coming off the invasion with, you know, the Devastators. Speaking of, I'll bring it up in a second. Um, she wants to really, you know, make a difference. And then all of a sudden, she finds out these missing people are happening. And then now we have our story arc where she goes off planet and now she's in this situation. It's like she has no powers. And on top of that, Monel decides to leap after her to try to protect her. Thankfully, he did. It actually brought out a pretty interesting episode. I think that the episode wasn't the best. Um, there were some really good moments. This episode was directed by Kevin Smith, and actually the girl that went missing when her mom went to, you know, to Kara, asking for help, that was Harley Quinn Smith, Kevin Smith's um, daughter. Believe it or not, he actually named his daughter Harley Quinn, which is a dope. Um, but she does a good job in the episode. Nothing really stand out, but I mean, I think the highlights of this episode would be definitely Supergirl really kind of wanting to do everything she can to you know, protect these people, even without powers. I think that the problem with that is just so blindly done. And I think that's one of the things that everybody loves about Superman, but then some people are like, that's so, you know, that doesn't make sense. Like, make more of a rational decision versus just leaping into, you know, harm's way without any kind of resources behind you. But thankfully, she had Monel to have her back. And thankfully, she actually encouraged, you know, the people that were actually kidnapped there. And I think that Roulette actually... Uh, was the one that was kind of cycling all this, but there are other factors here that I don't want to spoil. Uh, but the Devastators did have an interesting scene with Monel that I thought was really dope. That was a really highlight scene, and I think, as I said, when um, <laughs> him trying to deal with uh, being f afraid and overcoming, I feel like this episode really him going all plan was really to try to get him out of this state of being stagnant and fearful, anxiety ridden and really come into his own because it was he had some really interesting lines after the fact but he also did some really good acting and coming out of the fear and the trauma of a situation that happened with him and Guardian um, but to be quite honest the most compelling and uh, emotional parts of this was definitely you know Alex and her girlfriend because Alex as I said she's used to taking care of a car and then as soon as something happens she reverts back but then it's really common for any person you know when you're feeling things are happening very well for, you're worried about something just happening to spoil it. And a lot of times when you worry about it, you spoil it yourself, you know. It's, it's a, in a sense, um, free-willing prophecy in and of itself of happening because of yourself. But e either way, I thought it was a really decent episode. I'll probably get an episode of 8 out of 10. It wasn't anything really special for me. Uh, in the lines of fight sequences, it wasn't anything big. I was looking for a little bit more, especially with Kevin Smith directing it. Uh, but it, it was a very touching moment with certain sequences and certain people. Even uh, Monel and Carr has a really interesting touching sequence towards the end. But I don't know. It just, it just didn't, you know, get me. Um, I think that I made a good choice last week of picking Gotham over Supergirl. And I think it's going to be the same thing for this episode because I just don't like Livewire. I don't like the fact that her eyes do not light up or not like kind of colored, like kind of like Caitlyn is in, in Flash. Um... And I don't know, I just don't like the way her character looks. They need to upgrade her character. I think if they upgraded her character and made her look cooler, then I think I would like her more. Because uh, her powers are very interesting. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed that review. Keep it locked. JBS is going to stop. Stay tuned tonight because, ooh, Gotham is coming back, baby. Peace, everybody.